Good morning you guys it's Karen and today I'm here to show you how I use this to curl my hair so um, I struggle with these videos because I feel like they could be quite boring um, so some of it I am going to speed up but obviously um, you'll see I will, I will show you how I use it it's really really easy to use I promise you and that's what I've used today to get this look so I'm showing you um, it from my hair being completely straight to how it is now and how I do the little pony etc so if you would like to see how I created this with this please keep watching okay you guys so I am going to section my hair I've just brushed through it just to make sure there's no tangles in it because that will help and then I always do my curls in three so the first lot I do is I take this up and I just do the back section because that's the hardest to do then I'll let it down and then take the crown up here and do sort of the sides and the rest and then I'll let that bit down um, it's probably easiest for you to see the middle part or the top part of my hair being done as opposed to the back so I'll just quickly do the back quite fast I'll show you on screen but I'll, I'll speed it up and also it's um not the most flattering view because you totally get my lovely double chin at the side but so I just section the back take the back up and then twist it and put it up like so just to get it out of the way my hair's actually quite slippy even though this is like three day old hair <laughs> um so the first thing I do is use my heat protection spray as I've told you before this is what I've been using and finding that it helps a little bit with holding the curl but um, this is the Mark Hill Miracoilicious Miracoilish I can't say that word anyway this is what it is so I'm just spraying each section um, that I curl rather I'm not going to spray it on each individual bit that I'm actually curling if that makes sense and this dries pretty quickly so <coughs> there's a lot of alcohol in this I've said when I was reviewing it um, so this is the tool we're using so I'm just going to switch it on I've definitely switched it on haven't I yeah um, and then you can see that the blue light maybe you can see the blue light has come on and you can either go that way or you can go that way I don't actually know when you know it's heated up if that makes sense we'll see if the if the color changes but I'll give it a few minutes I'm just going to part my hair at the back with that bit so that I've got these are the bits I'm doing this way and these are the bits I'm doing this way but like I said I'll do this really really fast and then you can actually see me doing it on the sides see me doing it slowly on the sides oh, yeah, and that's pretty hot already and the blue light has not changed colour okay let's go Okay, so that's the bottom section done and as you can see it's not that curly because I've done kind of big sections and I've not held it in for very long because the bottom of my hair is the um, thickness of my hair will weigh this down anyway and so and you won't really see this bit of my hair so I'm not too bothered about this I sort of curl more the middle section so let's do the middle section okay and so I don't do it in any kind of like I start here or I start here I just grab bits of hair and you know try to make them not too thick so I'm gonna do a piece about like that a bit for me is remembering which way to press the button because it's that way on that side and that way on that side but for some reason that confuses me <laughs> okay so what you want to do is put your hair underneath those pink spokes somewhere about the middle and then just start turning and then as it winds it round you can sort of move the thing down a little bit you can experiment with this because obviously it will depend on the length of your hair as to how much you need to move it down or and you can keep on turning this way you're holding um, you know longer hair you'll need to move it down so that the, the hair s spreads across the, the tongue you can see that that is much much curlier Ooh, steam coming from it so I'll get another bit like so get under there so you could if you just hold it at the bottom it'll all wind on the bottom oh, it does kind of separate out a bit I think I must have moved that down a little bit take another piece so 
I've not had any problems with using this at all. Like, I think the only problem would be is if you didn't hook, like if you put your hair only half in it, so if you did it like that, then it's not gonna get all your hair. You know, you need to actually make sure that your hair goes underneath just two of the prongs. Like it doesn't need to go all the way around and then it threads it in for you. And then you can let it do the rest of the work, you know. Just grab a bit. I'm always curling backwards, you know, that's that kind of typical rule, isn't it? So you can see there, I've only got it under two and it's kind of on top of that next prong, but that's okay because it will, it will sort itself out. If you wanted larger curls or less, you know, you don't want them curly, you just want a little bit of a wave, then you would use a bigger piece of hair um, and you wouldn't wind it up so tight. So let me try and show you what I mean. So you could take a, a bigger piece, like say like that, and then, oh, that's part of one that was curled at the back, put that in and then just stop it there. And then that would be just at the end of your hair, if you see what I mean, like it's up to you how tight you go, how far to your head you go. I go quite far to my head simply because I want it to be as curly as possible at the beginning because it won't, I know it won't last. I've just realised I forgot a step on my lower bit. I normally spray every section after I've done with um, some kind of gel spray, hairspray. So now I'm just going to start picking out the bits that are long. And I will probably fast forward some of this because I don't know how much of it you need to see, but I'll show you a bit more once we get to the, the crown and the other side. Okay, so now I have done this section here. Oh, you can see there's some straight bits there, but I think that's, I'll catch that when I'm on that side. I'm just gonna spritz it with this. This is the LA Hold Hair Spritz Maximum Hold. It's a kind of liquid um, hairspray. Ooh, just sprayed it on my face. Forgot about cleaning the little nozzle first. Um, so it's like a gel spray, I suppose you could say. And I won't like run my fingers through these or anything. I will let them completely dry. And then I'm just gonna do this side very quickly. One thing I would say is you can do even a tiny amount of hair. So I wouldn't worry about this on fine hair. You know, if I take the tiniest little bit, it still works. It's just remembering which way to go. But let me show you, if you get the wrong way, all it does is you just means you're curling forward and that's not what you want, but it won't get your hair caught. So that's with a tiny bit and you can see it still, it still works perfectly well. Obviously, it would take me all day if I used pieces that small. <laughs> when the barrel is, you know, when the hair is round, wound around it, it doesn't very often go extremely tight. Just make sure I've got this the right way, yeah. So, when it's all wound on like that, you can continue pressing it. I've been doing that a little bit, just, there's no real reason to be honest. It's just, I think, oh well, well it may be more evenly spread the heat, but sometimes I just sit and hold it. Um, so it's not completely tight, you know, so this, again, this never gets stuck in your hair. If anything was gonna get stuck in my hair, stuck in hair, it would be mine because it's so thick. The other thing I want to tell you is that I am, the usual curling tongs I use, in case you haven't seen that last video, because I have done a curling video before, and the one I normally use is the GHD, GHD curling tong. I think it's called Curve, GHD Curve. It's about the same size as this curling tong, maybe a little bit thinner, um, and it does have a clip. Um, I cannot use clipless ones. You know the way that you get ones without a clip? I suppose this hasn't got a clip, but people do it sort of winding it down. Whenever I've used one of those, I have burnt my hands. And then I try it with a glove and I tend to burn the other hands. I just cannot, even when I've got the, ha oops, wrong way. Even if, if I've got the hang of it, it's, see, see there where that piece, there was a piece of hair coming out. You just press the button again and it just grabs a hold of the hair. Um, even when I did manage to get, to do it without burning myself, it just didn't look good. You know, it just, the curls weren't even, it just didn't ever look good. So I normally like ones with a clip. I just wanted you to know that in case you were thinking, I'm not very good with hair tools, neither am I. <laughs> just picking out the, the straight bits. Okie dokie, so that is the sides done. So I'm just gonna, oh, I've spritzed that side. This is this side done, I mean. I'm just gonna spritz this with some of this. 
and then it's on to the final bit this um i should say is my three day old hair at least i can't remember when i washed my hair so i still put it into my part in i have tried curling you know with the middle part in so that the hair sits better and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um, so i'll just spritz this with some of my oops hair protector heat protectant even this thing gets very very hot i don't know the actual heat but it does get very very hot but you don't need to touch it and like i said i i easily burn myself on other um, machines machines devices and i haven't burnt myself at all with this i probably shouldn't say that touch wood i have not burnt myself and like i said when you pull it out it just comes out very very easily you know you don't have to pull it at all and this is three day old hair so i tried it last time on my hair when it was freshly washed that's why i was surprised how how long the curls lasted and how easy this was to use because i thought it would slip out now see where it slips out there but if you just keep on curling it just picks it back up again um and so it'll be interesting to see how long the curls last after today i'm not really counting or anything when i'm holding them in i'm just I think eight seconds is what you're supposed to do, but I don't know where I'm getting that from. <laughs> I need to be careful at the end like this to not get pieces too big because I get bored. You know, I'm like, right, okay, I'm ready to be done now. And then put a piece in that's too big or... I'm honestly not making this look easy. It really is that easy. I am, I have zero skill. I'm just so clumsy um, with a lot of things, which is why I get burnt, you know, with those other machines. And I, I'm just clumsy. I'm just not elegant in any way, shape or form. So I'm not making this look easy because that's what I thought when I saw the video of the girl using it. And I was like, well, that looks easy. <laughs> but is it actually easy? And like I said, even my husband was like, oh, that's a disaster waiting to happen. Your hair's going to get caught in that. But it just, it never has. And does it see if there's some bits sticking out? It does just then, you can pull it a little bit. You can keep on turning this and it does catch you up, if you like. You know, it does sort it out in its own way and doesn't seem to be damaging my hair. You know, it's not like tangling it or anything. I get my hair tangled more in my fabulous big hair. Done. Is there any? I'm just pulling bits up to see if there's any straight bits at the back. There's a few wispy bits that I might do right there if they're attached to something else, or if not, I won't bother. No, I won't bother. Okay, I'm just going to spritz this bit as well, and then I'm just going to leave it and I'm going to go and finish the rest of my makeup. I can get to it. <laughs> um, I've done my eyes, but I just need to do some upper waterline liner and then I need to do my lipstick. Um, and then I will come back and show you how I style it. I'm never actually sure how I'm gonna style it. I don't very often leave it just down because, I don't know, it looks a bit odd. Um, and I don't often leave the curls in, you know. I will probably put a headband in or I'll do that thing I do where I'll put it up like that, you know. Um, but for now, like I said, I'm just going to let, let them dry, let them completely, not dry, cool down. Okay, so I have left this sitting while I did the rest of my makeup and sort of potted around for a minute. And so now I'm just going to loosely run my hands through it so that I can actually move it. And at this point, I could, like I said, leave it down, but I don't really like how it sits when it's just down, just especially because of my side part, you know, and this bit sort of... It's always in my way. So one of the things I was going to do is put a headband on. I could put a headband on would hold it all away from your face. Um, but the style I like, as you guys know, is with the middle bit in a little ponytail and then I wrap the hair around itself. So let's see, that's nearly right there actually. I'm just gonna get some hair up. Yeah, it's actually easier doing it with my finger, I think. 
and just the last few bits to make it precise. So that's the kind of bit of hair that I want out of my way. Don't want it to be too skinny, otherwise it will look a bit silly. Just brush that bit. Okay, so I'm using little elastics. I've got little purple ones. You can get the little clear ones. I'll use this clear one. Now, there's not very much. I'm going to gather a little bit more hair because, like I said, it looks a bit silly if the ponytail is a bit too paltry. Um, Okay, that's that bit done. So you can see, I just like, I even like it like that. You know, I know it looks a bit crazy and I don't leave it like that, but um, I like it. <laughs> so then I've got one Kirby grip and I am just going to take the bottom half of the pony. So just take a little bit of hair and literally just wrap it around. I think I normally go around twice. So twice like that, flip this forward and then I just put the curvy grip in the base and then push it forward so that the front of it is under there and put it back and then there you have it's still a little bit wild isn't it but that's how I like it yeah that's nice I probably could have put a little bit more of hair up into there but that's okay um, so let's give it another little spritz now I've done this I'm not going to do anything else to it other than try and keep it in place I can if my hair's looking too flat I can put a little bit more volume in it by you know, back combing it at the at the roots there but I don't tend to need to do that with curls that's more if I have you know my hair straight got my hoops in I'm ready for the day so if you've got any questions at all leave them in the comments below I have got a really good discount code for this and it was only £30 to start with and I think it's £40 40% 40 off so you get it for less than £20 so um, I would say that it's a steal an absolute steal and these are the things that I'm as you know always cynical about and did not think it would work this well but it works really really well and I am going to continue to use this to do my hair I would say it took me about 25 minutes to do my whole head of hair and normally it takes me more like 45 minutes to an hour um, because you know with all the twisting and then if you've twisted it up wrong or you've not got enough hair in it or you didn't hold it for long enough um, and so I find that you still have to hold it in obviously to to let the heat get through but my elbows my tennis elbows not as sore at all um, and it definitely shaves time off it so I'm going to use this going forward so I hope that you enjoyed that um, let me tell you what I've got on makeup wise actually I have got on the hourglass stick foundation in I think it's called shell the color um, on my eyes is my visor amethyst palette and on my cheeks is a glossier cream blush in beam um, what is this lipstick this lipstick is the Stila liquid lipstick in Perla and then on top of it I just put this CYO lip gloss um, I don't think this exists anymore but it's called your best side if it does I shall link it in the description so hope you enjoyed that thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon